Although major updates stopped with version 2.0, that hasn't prevented Nintendo from releasing many different patches since that point. After all, with how many moving parts there are in Animal Crossing New Horizons, some things are bound to go wrong and they have to step in and release a patch to fix things up. It's been a little while now since we last got our patch, which was version 2.0.5, so it does seem fairly likely that they will come out with a new patch soon, especially as there are currently a lot of glitches and exploits in the game that they haven't patched out. We even had some maintenance for the game recently, which does show they're still adjusting minor things behind the scenes. Nintendo has been pretty infamous at patching out exploits and glitches within the game. For example, they patched out the much-loved fourth level exploit, which allowed you to decorate that fourth level on your island. Another really short-lived exploit which allowed you to get unlimited turnips from Joan at the hospital on Happy in Paradise was also patched out by Nintendo. So I thought I'd mention some of the exploits and glitches you should enjoy in Animal Crossing New Horizons before Nintendo might patch them out in the next update. First of all, we have to start off with two major Nook's Cranny exploits which Nintendo definitely would have noticed by now given how much exposure they got online. It's not 100% known if Nintendo intended them to be this way, but for the first one, I definitely can't see that being the case. The first exploit effectively allows you to fill up the donation box item with bells, sell it to Nook's Cranny when it's a hot item, and basically duplicate the bells that you've put inside. Given how tedious this is to do with you having to put in small increments of bells every single time, this isn't the most fun exploit to do, but in my opinion, it is a really great way of making bells, but it honestly doesn't feel like something that Nintendo would have intended players to do. It seems like many players felt the same way as well when this exploit was shared online earlier this year, with most people worrying that it would be patched out soon after. I definitely feel like this is a very likely contender to get removed in the next update patch for Animal Crossing New Horizons, which would be a bit of a shame, but honestly, it is incredibly inconvenient, so I'm not sure I would miss it that much. However, the next exploit, I would definitely be very sad if it did disappear, as this one is much more broken. This one works the same in principle where you need to get it as a hot item and sell it to Nook's Cranny, and this one is the pile of cash, which basically will double its value every time you sell it. You do need to of course invest some bells into it first to do this, but effectively you're using bells to duplicate more bells, which to me does feel very overtly like an exploit, and something that Nintendo probably wouldn't want in the game. Now, don't get me wrong, it is possible that Nintendo did intend this, after all you do need to get lucky enough to get it as your hot item, but from my point of view this one just feels a little bit too broken for Nintendo to have wanted it in the game. It's very very easy for things like this to slip past when you have so many different items that sell for different prices and such, so it really would not surprise me if it was unintended. So if you want an interesting way of getting bells in the game, you'll definitely want to try these before the next patch in my opinion, as either one of them could go. I definitely think the donation box one is a bit more likely, but it would not surprise me if the pile of cash one was actually patched out as well. The next exploit is definitely one that players should try before it is patched out. But first, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community that you'll love. Skillshare has thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves to learn. It's much better than this school being taught by a literal goat. If you have a specific skill you want to learn, then Skillshare is definitely the place to start. We just have to find one this class will love because they're too fussy. For example, if my class wanted to learn about video and film, something that I'm actually pretty passionate about myself, then they could. Ryan Booth actually has a great class about making your videos look like a movie, and you know what? I think these villagers have taken it to heart already. If they've learnt something new, then you definitely will too. If this class isn't for you though, don't worry, because there are so many different classes to choose from for whatever you happen to be passionate about. The first 1,000 of my viewers to sign up through my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thanks once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So as I was mentioning, this glitch is definitely one that you'll want to try. This is the puzzle glitch which basically allows you to glitch into certain areas of the map that usually you'd never be able to go into. This could allow you to glitch into certain items like the hot tub or the pool which is incredibly cool and almost gives a type of interactivity that players wish they could normally have with these items. 
It even lets you swim in the rivers around your island, which I absolutely love, and this glitch is definitely really easy to do. I'll link my video about this in the description if you do want to try it yourself. However, sadly, I definitely feel like this could be patched out in the next Animal Crossing update. When you consider that a very similar fourth level glitch was patched out by Nintendo, I feel like they may consider getting rid of this one as well. On the bright side, this glitch has survived a long time despite getting a lot of exposure, but then again, it did take Nintendo a really long time to patch out the fourth level glitch. I feel like Nintendo is very unpredictable with the game, so we might expect something to be totally safe just because it's been in the game for a while, but then suddenly they'll get rid of it. After all, as cool as it is, and it should be a feature in the game itself honestly, it is not intended, therefore they basically have every right to patch it out. I also do wonder though if it might just not be worth their time and effort to even patch this out as it is fairly harmless, but then again so was the 4th level glitch, so I'm really conflicted on whether they would actually get rid of this or not. Another one that comes to mind is the tree glitch which basically allows you to put trees on the edge of cliffs and this one is used by a lot of players. Now I don't feel like they would remove the trees that you've put down in unplantable locations, that would probably be a bit too tricky for them to do, but I could definitely see them doing it so that you can't plant trees in any odd locations anymore. Once again, this would definitely be a sad one to lose as honestly it's a lot of fun and I wish they had removed some of the limitations that we had with trees in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Glitches and exploits which allow you to do things that you usually wouldn't be able to do are honestly really cool and it's something that I always love to see. Especially ones that are related to island decorating as that is such an important part of the game. However, there is one thing that I think they may patch in the next update that honestly would be a good thing, and this is Leaf's Weeding Service. I've talked about this multiple times now, and I really hope that Nintendo will do it at some point, because most people can simply not use this feature. The fact of the matter is, you need to have over 300 weeds for Leaf to use this service on your island, a number which you will never naturally have in the game except at the very start, and at that point most people would have already de-weeded their island, so you'd realistically have to plant more weeds if you ever wanted to actually use it. Nintendo definitely needs to patch this in the next update, it would be incredibly easy for them to do, just change the number 300 down to something lower like, I don't know, 200, or just a number where weeds can actually naturally spawn at. Either way, let me know in the comments section down below which of these exploits and glitches you've tried in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and which ones are you really hoping don't get patched out at any point in the future. If you made it to the end of the video, then be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos. I want to say thank you to these channel members for supporting me and the content that I make here. Their contributions allow me to keep making videos. If you want to support these videos and get some great perks for doing so, like access to our members only Discord, exclusive Bob emojis and live streams, and much more, then click the join button down below the video or the link in the description. 